The Virginia Beach Sheriff's Office has a new four-legged tool to detect drugs both inside the jail and on the streets. News 3 reporter Angela Bohan visited the correctional facility today and shows us how well this special tool works. Unfortunately, narcot narcotics do get in the jail, so it's our job to go find them. Here we go. He's currently trained on cocaine, meth, heroin, and ecstasy. Meet Pablo. He's about a year and a half old, and he's a Belgian Malinois born in the Netherlands. Pablo is in some ways like a regular pup with seemingly endless energy, a wagging tail and drool. Oh, look at all that slobber. But witness his ability to focus on this toy, the very loud squeaky toy he only gets when he detects drugs. Okay. And now see Pablo in action. His handler tucked away a training aid, basically a drug decoy, and it took all of about five seconds for him to track it down. Good boy. Good boy. Pablo even passed up the brownies sitting on the kitchen counter. That didn't take him long. No, no, they got, they got good noses on them. And with nearly 1,100 inmates at the jail, Pablo's main job is to check for drugs within these walls. We've had a couple pops, so he's done well. I asked if the newest K-9 would be trained to detect fentanyl, but his handler said it is too dangerous. Pablo here is stepping in right as another K-9 is about to retire, partly because of old age and also because of the type of training. Candy is a 10-year-old German Shepherd. She is specially trained in detecting marijuana, something not on Pablo's resume because of its legalization in Virginia. Natalzia has a special place in his heart for both dogs, plus a third who detects explosives. This is my partner. We come to work, go everywhere together. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3. And the sheriff's office says Pablo will eventually be trained as a tracking dog to help find fugitives, missing children, or missing senior citizens.